to a health alert involving information overload. Parents you know, often have trouble understanding instructions when their kids leave the hospital or maybe even the ER. There's some new research that's published in the American Academy of Petri Pediatrics. It was based off of uh, 64 different studies. And a common problem they found was that there were medication errors, which is something that can put your kids at a high risk and evil, even land them back in the hospital. Channel 4's Allison Henning spoke to a local pharmacist about what parents really need to know. Allison, good morning. Good morning. So the pharmacist I spoke with said, you know, it can get confusing for parents when they're reading these labels, especially when their child is taking more than one medication at a time. He, however, he does encourage parents to ask any questions that they might have before heading home. In the beginning, it's a bit overwhelming. Amanda Smith is a mother of two. At one point, her little one was taking five different medications. She says keeping track of them all wasn't easy. You know, with more than one to give or just the time of day to give and how often to give, that can get, you know, a bit confusing after a while. New research found nearly half of the time, parents gave their kids 20% more or less medication than prescribed. Something pharmacist Gary Roberts says is alarming. He says parents shouldn't be afraid to ask questions. That short time it'll take to answer or find out the answers to your questions can mean a lot in the middle of the night when you're trying to dose medication and then you're unsure. Before parents walk out the door, he wants them to understand the dosage or how much medication their child needs, how often they need to give it to them, and whether it needs to be taken orally or another way. Robert says it might sound simple, but these are common mistakes that can cause adverse effects. Smith tells News 4 Jax she and her husband try to stay informed by asking lots of questions. You just worried about taking care of these guys, so whoever, um, yeah, whoever answers your questions, so, I mean, it's just a big help to ease the worry. So Robert says medications nowadays are dosed via the metric system rather than tablespoons or teaspoons like it might have been when some of us were growing up. He does say, however, there are tools out there that can make it easier for parents like syringes or cups like this one. That way you can make sure you're giving your child the right amount of medication. We're live this morning, Allison Henning, Channel 4, the local station.